Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about the project scheduling in web engineering. Let us see first of all what is a project schedule. Here the project schedule has some principles generally in order to achieve any process we are supposed to schedule the things in order to get the things done in an efficient way. So in order to achieve the scheduling in a perfect way we have some principles on scheduling. So what are they? compartmentalization this means actually dividing into modules when you have a big task to be done we have to divide the task into distinct multiple tasks or subtasks so the so that we can achieve the product efficiency in an efficient manner interdependency this indicate the task interrelationship how the modules are dependent on each other here it is called it as an coupling between the modules how they are interdependent on one another in order to achieve the task the whole task and then the effort validation we have to be assured that the resources are available in order to get the work done properly and then defined responsibilities each and every person in the team must be assigned and proper responsibility in order to achieve the task perfectly and then defined outcomes every task must have a defined output so that this when this output is defined perfectly we are able to compare the expected and the really what is the output received and finally the milestones we have to define the milestones so here this will be done using the review for the quality so here when you have fixed the milestones so at an each, each and every point of time you can just check about the quality how much we have reached on the particular duration of the project process that is the defining the milestone so these are all the principles on which the scheduling can be done let us see how this relationship between the people and the effort are defined so here this is the people who are working in a team to achieve the project and also the effort is the work done by each and every member of the team so let us see the relationship between the people and the effort. There is a misconception among most of the project managers that if the project is late from its delivery dates then by increasing more people in the development team can complete the project on time. But actually this doesn't work because increasing the number of people when you are adding new people in order to achieve the project earlier what will happen is the learning curve that time that taken by the newcomer to learn the project and then to synchronize with the work that will even delay the project further so new people need time to synchronize with the existing team new people need a training to work on the project and there will be no or little work on the project because trainers or the team members are working on the current period so the already existing members they if they start train the new mem members even their effort will be reduced so adding the people is not a solution to achieve the project on time yeah it is a fact that the software development environment that the project schedules are flexible they can be reduced or extended so the schedule can be extended or reduced putting extra effort and resources can reduce the schedule and reducing the effort and resources can extend the schedule so the effort is between the schedule and the resources and the effort okay so it is not just adding people to the project so that is what the study done by putnam norden relay curve this pnr curve is used to establish a relationship between the effort and the delivery dates of the project by representing effort as a function of the delivery time actually here we focus on the delivery time or how early the project can be delivered in order to deliver the project on time or earlier what is the effort that has to be made the main benefit of this method is that it is possible to complete the same project by extending the project schedule with the less number of people so the less number of people the communication link will be less and the understanding will be more so that less number of people in the team will be able to complete the project on time and then the line of code LOC is related to the effort and the development time. So here how much effort each individual is putting on the particular project. So that is the and how many lines of code they are able to generate. So that is the one of the parameter 
that helps to relate the effort and the development time. Now let us see the curve, how it is drawn between the effort and the time. So actually this curve, PNR curve implies that as the effort is more and more, the time will be less. That means when we are putting more effort, the time taken to complete the project will be less. It is given as an empirical formula P versus E. Here P is the productivity parameter and E is the effort. So it is given as L is equal to P into E power 1 by 3 into T power 4 by 3 or E is equal to L cube by P cube by L cube by P cube into T power 4 where L is the LOC which is lines of code and p is the productivity parameter which always lies between 2000 and 12000 effort is the effort in person month actually what is the person month is in a month what is the effort that can be given by a single team member or a person in the team and then t is the project duration in the months or the years so how long the project has been planned it may be months or years depending upon the size of the project so this is how the relationship between the time and the effort has been defined by the PNR curve and thanks for watching.